I got G in a motherfucking pie. I feel like Richard Miller with the watch. You got one time to slither around me. I feel like Ace Boogie with the rock on me. Nigga, quit watching me. Ain't no stopping me. I don't play lottery. This ain't Monopoly. I got one cocked in the head. That's 21 stuffed in a 30 piece. What in the fuck do a motherfucker mean? I'm in the area talking to sneeze. He got a chopper with a red beam. He call it Red Bull, cause it give you wings that free my. Y'all can catch me on the Jermaine Hall Show on YouTube. Also, you can catch me on the Lions Pride Network. If you have Fire Stick Roku or Apple TV, you can download that app. You'll see me right there, The Jermaine Hall Show. So if you are behind or a newcomer, you are not late, you are fashionably late. That means you look good doing it. Just get yourself in here. So you, you calling this distress or distraction? Can I subtitle? Underline. Can I subtitle? Yes, you can, sir. SOS or MESOS? Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. SOS or MESOS? <laughs> So we're going to get right into it. Men are all over the place these days, and it's no secret that it's not just men. I wanted to speak about gender roles in relationships concerning men and women today, the traditional relationships. Uh, what do you say, Miss Crystal, the newcomer? What do you say to the theory that men are no longer needed in the home now by independent, these quote-unquote independent women? I don't believe that, honestly, because regardless of how independent you are, if you're going to have a household, it's led by the man, mm -hmm. period. And it has to be that man that's doing what he's supposed to for you, your family, the situation y'all in. Not just any man mm -hmm. that decided to come over there like, okay, I live here. Like, no, that's not what it's about. It's about that man that's leading properly for you to follow. What's proper? In your opinion, what's and that's what I said as far as you know, what's taking you? care, taking care of the household needs, taking care of me as the woman, as you know, your wife, whatever, whatever we're in, you know, as far as you know, our children, you know, that we may have or we may have separately, just handling your business. Yeah. Your end of the bargain. Yes. Today, that end of the bargain. Before I even give my point of view, I want to ask you, what do you? Uh, say to the theory of men not being needed in the household today, Mr. David, uh, by the independent women. And we know those who are screaming that. We, we see it all the time online. I mean, I mean no that, that whole independent thing, I mean, that, that's bothered me for a long time because I think people have taken the phrase or term independent and, and flipped it on its head. Independent means I can do for myself. Independent doesn't mean I don't want you to do for me. You know, I think that's one of the biggest misnomers or, you know, misconceptions that this generation has now. You know, when you can't even consider what your label is, like who you are. I mean, I'm from old school. You a dude, you a chick. You know, you're a dude that can like dudes. You get a chick that can like chicks. You're a chick that can like dudes. You're a dude that can like chicks. Those four mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Or you can be like me. I don't like anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but that does not what we're going here. Is. I think the whole concept of not needing a man, and it, I hate to say it because now we have to put everything in quotations. Because now I can't even say what a man is without somebody coming and, and biting my neck off. Well, so what's well, a, what, welcome, what is a man? I, in welcome it? to the Jermaine Hall show where I don't give a damn about the people that's going to scrutinize this, this show for uh, all these new things that we're finding out. I mean, don't give me we I, I don't give a good we're name. Tra we're traditional. When you was born a boy, you was a boy. Whatever decision you made later, that's your business. Yeah. I don't care about your preference in the bedroom. That's a man, that's a girl. Like you said, right? So I don't want to put a thousand things in quotation marks. You no, know, like no, you okay. To but I, I get, I get, no, I, 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 I get, I get what he's saying. Like as far as being a woman and the way they've labeled, and I will label this independent woman. It's not okay. I'm standing on my own, doing what I need to do. They're looking at the hurt and abuse they've taken. It's just like, oh, I don't need you to do this. And that, and no, you may not need it, but at the same time, as a 
independent woman. You 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 want that. You don't you, you don't have to need somebody, but that's ultimately like the way it's just been set up. Period. Mm -hmm. For you to have this equal person to mesh with. Mm -hmm. So it's not a point. I, I feel like they're misconstruing it. It's like, oh well, I don't went through this. Like, okay, well, I don't want this. I'm independent because I can do this, 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 and the third. But at the same time, what you're going off is based off your past failures, your past hurts, your past heartbreaks. And that's what you're building it off, and that's the wrong answer. Mm, totally agree. So, so the foundation is cracked. Yes, definitely. Which means the building ain't going to last anymore. Anyway. Cracked. The foundation is not there. Not anymore. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they, you know, they, they built in houses from the roof down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. Exactly. So it's not a point where I don't need a man. Like I don't want. I want somebody, but at the same time, I don't just want anybody. Mm -hmm. If if that's clear. I think the best thing about a grown woman, a woman with a brain, that's applying her smarts, is that she has requirements. You see, it leads a man to understand how to treat you if he sees how you treat yourself. Definitely. A lot of women today have an argument that I totally disagree with. If she naked, that don't mean she wants you or your attention or your staring or your comments. She can be naked without you showing her a sexually charged vibe. Okay, I'm stuck in the middle on this one here. I know how I feel, but here's what I see. I'm not a th I don't have no trouble in the area of women. Mm -hmm. But if she walking by naked, hell yeah, I'm going to look. Whether I like it or not, I'm going to wonder, why are you naked? I might not say it to you, uh -huh. but I'm going to look and be like, y'all ain't seen them piercing nipples? <laughs> y'all ain't seen... I mean, in today's society, you see them in today's society, you're 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 chastised nice. if you look at a naked woman and wonder why she's walking across naked. Like, why are you looking at me? Yeah. No, because you're naked. I'm going to look at you. That's a, that's outside of my norm. I'm going to look at things that are outside of my norm. I'm going to pay attention to those. Things. <laughs> Hello, and also, I why do I go to the strip club? Mm -hmm. It ain't to see her with her clothes on. Of course not. But we at the bank. I go for the wings. And you come in <laughs> for the wings to stay good too in Atlanta. Yeah, it depends where you're at. But if you naked, we at the bank and you walk in. I'm gonna look. Even you look right. I'm gonna look. But only the men get their ass toe up. I'm just saying. I'm for looking so. at a naked woman and saying, damn, that's not I think I'm supposed to feel like that. Yeah. You're not ever gonna make me ashamed. No, for appreciating it, a woman's body, as, but it's a way to do it. Acting like as long it's as it's a way to do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Don't you touch? Keep your comments to yourself, and a glance is different from staring. Yes, we all understand that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That I don't like when dudes call other dudes thirsty because a dude like a woman. Because she posts a sexy picture, and I say, "Damn, Crystal, you." Oh, you bad today. And David jumps on there, the thirst is real, and points at me. What is that about? Bro, won't you get on the wave and tell her she's beautiful? Because you obviously think the same thing. Yeah. Why well, are you worried about what I'm talking about? You know? But that, you know, but, but that goes back to uh, being reactionary. Because dudes just don't say that about other dudes because dudes draw hate. Yeah. Dudes say that about other dudes because... Females have labeled those dudes that in the past. So to make themselves look good to other females, the dude will say, yeah, he thirsty. I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to say it for you, lady. I'm relating to you. He thirsty. So he thinks that he's relating to the woman, making her feel comfortable in order to lure her in. I mean, it's, when all you really did was just feminize yourself. What it, I mean, it's, sir, it, you it's, will it's be basic, the, it's politics. Sir, you know? you're going to be in the friend zone for a very <laughs> long time. Trying to be that girl's friend on this little blue app or whatever other app. When all you had to do was be a man, step up and say, I'm attracted to you. I would like to take you out for a meal one day. But well, then that dude out. gets called thirsty. That's the problem. That's Nowadays, the, the dude gets but, called thirsty. But that's thirsty. by another dude. 
That's not yeah. by the female. Oh, 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 you know, I mean, seen, no, because I you never seen girls half naked on Facebook, but then tell dudes stay out loud. Yeah, I've seen that. I feel like you stupid. Get gone. So you do agree? Yeah. Oh no, I completely okay. do. Like, okay. it, like okay. trust me, like the ground level, I completely agree. Okay. Like, what you put out there, everybody don't have the same home training. Everybody mm -hmm. wasn't raised the same. Even if you was raised the same, every they adults, they go their way. So, what their opinion is now and how they react is not what it was prior to. So overall, like, if a guy hit me up, you know, oh, you look, oh, thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's, you know, it's never a point where I've had anything where a dude was on there like, oh, you know, he thirsty. I've never had that on any of my pictures at all. Like, they scare that. you. You get violent. I don't fight you no carry, now. You carry a vibe that dudes like, you know, I pretty much don't want to get snapped. <laughs> On I, don't, I don't even know. No, I'm not even. I don't know. Back then, you might have got slapped. But now, I'm not even that same person. I know I, that. Trust and me. I'm not but, that but, and I mean, I know, like, you know, just my presence. I was strong. Mm -hmm. A strong personality. I have a strong presence. So, a lot of they may be intimidated, but at the same time, if I intimidate you, you don't belong here. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to. I've done that when I not not necessarily dumb myself down, but no, put you, myself you down. So, yes, I did. I put myself to a lower level. Like, okay, well, I don't want to make him feel some type of way, so I'm just going to do this to accommodate him. No, I've been up here, and if you're not here, or you can't get with me, or you can't level with me, I don't. That's where we need to separate. You want to go? Go ahead. No, please. Wow, man. That ties right into how women feel. Nothing you said was wrong, by the way. I agree with everything you said. Um, however, it ties right into why females are saying they don't need a man. Because I'm not dumbing myself down for a dude, even though it's coming from a bitter place sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah. There are some women that ain't been through a damn thing. And don't know they ain't been through nothing. They just went through the dude they liked moving on. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing. Everybody you meet is not your soulmate. But they think they went through hell and hot water from that. But now, I don't need no man. But that's the thing. As a woman, you have to check yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, trust me, it ain't always everybody else out there. A lot of people may say, this, like, no, I ain't that bad. No, that was me. No, no, I ain't that bad. And what's I? I'm like, damn it. You, you was wilding. You was out there. like You was out of control. Like, I just thank God for the people that was my friends when they was my right. friend. When I was that one in my life. I was like, oh, Lord. Y'all, bless, bless, them, bless them double, God, because they dealt with a lot of stuff. But that's where you have to check yourself. Because you're not always right. I know I'm not always right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, I don't try to be right. You don't try to be right. No. Well, sometimes I'm trying. Crystal, I, I, I will. Crystal, you ain't out here trying to be right. No, no, I am trying to be right, but it, it's well Thursdays. No, ain't no Thursdays. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but no, like sometimes, like oh, once, I'm, one, once I'm in that zone, this is like forget everything else. But overall, I do try to, you know, do the right thing. Look at it outside of myself. Like mm -hmm. just not like okay, everybody personally attacking me. Like okay, well, put myself in their shoes. Like what do they see when they're dealing with me? And it's just mm -hmm. like you know what, you was wild. Mm -hmm. All right, calm down. You know, check yourself. Oh. But it's not a point where I'm like, no, I'm not 100% innocent because I know I go a thousand real quick. You know, I had a uh, I had a post on Facebook the other day, and it brought out a lot of a, a lot of information that I didn't have. I knew that women had a strong distaste for men because the roles have been they've made men inferior. And by inferior, I mean from a personal standpoint, not that we accepted the role of being inferior. We don't want to be the leader, mm -hmm. but now we're displaced because we don't know how. I believe that most majority men now don't know how to approach a strong woman. Yeah. I won't put color on it because it's people from all nationalities mm -hmm. that can achieve 
anything in this life, right? It's an even playing field now, too, not systemically, but as far as being able to do, you a woman is free to go to school and be a firefighter or a policeman or corporate world, CEO. They are doing these things in front of our eyes, accomplishing entrepreneurial goals far faster than the male has done it. You know, appealing to the masses better than we can. We want to see the women anyway doing it. I bet you a hundred thousand men would rather see a woman sitting in my seat saying what I'm saying than me. You see what I'm saying? Millions even. My point is, men have now heard so many times with their own ears and, and read with their own eyes of how many ways y'all are capable of, let's say a man goes in, I want to buy her a house. She already got her own house. I want to buy a car. She got two. Uh, do she want kids? You met her when she had three. But oh, 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 oh. wait, I'm gonna give you this. Okay. You met her when she had three. Yeah, y'all can decide to have more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. My point is where the male's mind is approaching you is we work to give, provide, right? Yes, sir. We work to provide. But if you come with all of that, I want to fill up the refrigerator. The refrigerator hers and the food in it. So where do I come in at? It's hard to determine the leadership role as a male. Wait, you coming? Mm. It's hard to determine the leadership role now because you come packaged, right? And it's not scary. I'm saying the women that bash us because they've achieved it, now we have no desire to want you. We want to want you, but the desire is gone because you throw it in my face that you could do and, it by yourself. And but that's what I'm saying. That's where, you know, it's some people that haven't been through anything, but it's a lot of people that have been through so much and that's where they're like, oh, I got this, I got this, I don't need, you know, no, what you burn. But as far as a weird, real woman, it's more than what you can, you, all of our, you're supposed to be the provider. Mm -hmm. At the same time, but Are that ma materialistic things. Listen to it, it's, listen to today's word. Uh, I, I I mean, what do you I, think? I get what you're saying, but not from I your mean, standpoint, from what you see out here. What do you? Are we the providers? No. That role is like damn near yeah. non-existent. And, and now, like right? I said, you right with that, but everybody doesn't have that same mind frame. No, no, and, no. and I feel like I know you know because I'm as a male. <laughs> And I'm gonna leave the household in my more queen that social I leave. media, everything that's put out and pushed into people. That's what they're feeding. All this, what is it? Reality TV. That's what they're feeding off. It's like, oh, well, this is what they should do. But no, that's not what it is. When you're dealing with somebody real that's grounded, that knows themselves, knows what they want out of life, even if they already have, they can be living in a mansion. But what you're gonna provide? that's in your heart mm -hmm. is going to be more than anything else that you can spend a dollar on. Absolutely. That's to us. Ooh, ooh, Go. Ooh, call on me. Call on me. Go. Yeah, your turn. We got Mr. David coming <laughs> to the stage. I think the roles have changed because what women wanted back in the day now, what they would consider requirements or things that they would like in a man, have changed to conditions. Mm -hmm. So now, and I'm like, what's the difference? I'm glad you asked. Requirements and things that I want are ne not necessarily things that I'm going to get 100% of the time. So, but now in today's world, those same requirements to women now who can do for themselves, like, I think you had said earlier, uh, a little while ago, that you know that when she has it, you know these are things that now come from the heart. Mm -hmm. You know things that come from the soul. You know the things I love, they're not material things. But now these conditions that have been set forth are damn near impossible for a man to achieve because they forget we're human, and human error 
is a part of a relationship, period. Think, think about, and women, I'm not speaking for all of you. I'm not probably not even speaking for half of you. Speaking in general. But I'm speaking from my experience. Mm -hmm. A woman will want a man, like, you know, they have all the, you remember the uh, lady in the street is freaking a bit, you know, like the little yeah, lady you know, in the street freaking the we used to, we, we used to put those lines in, in songs back in the day. Mm -hmm. But now it's gotten to the point where I want a man who knows how to touch a woman. And I also want a man that won't touch me when I don't feel like being touched. I want a man who has a big dick. We don't know what you I want. want. But I want him to know how to use it. I, I want him to know how to treat my body from the first time that he touches me. Like, you don't give him a chance to learn. I hey, want a man hey, who hey, is rich you. and has a lot of money, but in turn will only spend that money on me. But I will also want the man to have his money. But, Oh, so you want him to have his cake and you and want him to eat it too? And I don't want you gone all the time. To make I, that I, money. I, don't, I don't want you to, to make, make that, money, that money. money. I want you here with me spending the money that you made on me. But bear in mind, I have my own money. So I don't need you to spend it on me. So these are, these are things that are not just conditions. These are things that are contradictory conditions. And they're impossible for a man to achieve when a woman has set forth those things. So then she says, hey... I don't need a man that can't achieve these unrealistic expectations for me. I'm going to be independent. And by that being, you know what? Now what? I don't even have to like men anymore. I like women. But those women are the same as men sometimes. But that's my thing. Overall, it's a communication thing as far as with dealing, getting in a relationship with somebody, period. Overall, that's why I messed up in all mine. We were never best friends. We want, and that's why I feel like you have to be able to be best friends with. You can be silly, stupid, cry, like every. They have to see you in every season in order for you to actually be with them. Because you get with somebody and they see you like, okay, you know, she cool, and then something happens, like bring her down or bring him down, and you're like, oh, you know, everybody looking at them, so you you looking at yourself like. Well, why he said, like, no, you have to be able to understand this person as a person. Like, this is my best friend. They're going to feel one day they may be here, the next day they're on the ground. But where are you going to be? Right there to support them. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Overall, with getting with people and trying to establish a relationship, prior to sex, I mean, you know, sex happens up in there, but you, you know how that you goes, but it, it does, and sex gets people, and, and, and no, but overall, it does get people caught they, up in the meantime. They hunch first night, hey, it be and like I love sometimes. you in two weeks. It, it be like that sometimes. Here's yeah. the thing, I ain't seen it work these days yet, and I know a lot of people. Oh, yeah. and, and I, I know I, a I, lot I, of people. Tonight. But, I, but overall, and it's just that. Like, it works sometimes. I said, I think it worked a long time ago. The foundation, like you said, there ain't nobody building the foundation no more. They getting on the foundation and it's crap. It's not solid. So that's where you have to figure out this person. Like, take the time. People be so ready to get in a relationship. Yeah, I, I got married three times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably should have been married. you have the strength to do that? Uh, see, because you know, I, I was in the military, because overall I was like, okay, too. well, they're going to PCS, or I'm a PCS, and we won't stay here together, so we just going to get married, and eventually I feel the way I'm supposed to feel. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a thing where I'm like, I can't live without you, mm -hmm. I want to grow old with you, like, it was just more, right now, just you thinking about convenience. how. Marriage was a yes. business decision. You did, you yes. were doing convenience. Yeah, and that's what it was. I uh -huh. no, no problem in that, and that's what I did. And it was just like, okay. I don't want this to happen. We trying to figure this out. And yeah. Okay. That's how all of that happened. But at the same time, like I'm saying, you have to build that with some, that foundation, that friendship, that every season. You have to be able to see, you meet somebody tomorrow. Now look, you, you keep saying every season and I totally agree and I understand. But mm -hmm. for the listeners, give them what the seasons are. Good, bad, ugly, depressed. Angry, irate, crazy, mm -hmm. and crazy be hard. Cause I know I don't have stupid crazy. I don't know. I have a lot of stupid, happy. Exactly. So you have to be able to deal with this person Every and accept form. of them because mm -hmm. nobody's going to be the same person all the time. Period. I have PTSD. I have all these other issues, but at the same time, even if I didn't, 
I would still, you see me right now. You meet me a couple days. There may be something you have. like, what's up, Chris? Okay. Hey, but and that, that makes ma- everybody. Exactly. So you can't, like, it's not just based on, you know, because I got pizza. No, everybody, you may have a day. You may have an hour. You're in a different mood. So you have to be able to accept that person mm-hmm. and realize, like, okay, this person getting this mood. Okay, well, we can, like, can I really deal with this? Is this really, like, okay, well, we cool now. Go through the cup. Like, can I really deal with this for a long period of time? You have to be able to be ready to accept this person at their worst. And also accept the same back. You know. Ooh. It has to be reciprocated. I can't accept you when you are here climbing out, kicking out the walls and stuff, and then I raise my voice and you like, oh, get out. It's two ways. Exactly. It has to be that we it that's what I'm saying. We you cool have to until have you give it to me. Yeah, and, and a lot of times that's how I happen. Be like, okay, well I can do it, but oh no, you ain't gonna do we this. Cool until you do that no, to go me. ahead, get get out, pack your stuff, leave. No, that's not what it's about. If you wanna mess with somebody for real, you gotta be able to accept them in every season. Facts. I went I said the words, um, requirements and, and, and needs and wants versus conditional for a simple reason. Uh one little two letter word, if we put stipulations on relationships when we say, I only want them if, that's the conditional statement. Because what happens when if becomes if not? Yeah. You call it a conditional statement. Uh, that's the conditional statement. I say now, the way the world is moving, it's their mission statement. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the main thing we see is if you don't come with. Not can we work together on if you don't come with if you right that's big yeah as much as I didn't pay attention to that two letter word I'm now recalling just today scrolling through the platforms I have to scroll through to do my research and you know come up with shows and content I seen a lot of if you don't for instance if you don't have my child support by so and so date, you cannot see your child. Mm. If you're not making so and so amount of money, you can't talk to me. If you don't drive a so and so type of car, don't ask me to ride with you. Am I allowed to call you a prostitute if you base hanging out with you on dollar amount? We, no, we I, are, I, okay. We are indeed trading time for money, aren't we? Yeah, technically we are, but like, Wasn't I mean. that the definition? Yeah, you're right. But what Why I get like, you so no, mad? but overall, well, like, but I think what, you're what, 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 what I'm trying to say is. Not always. Some, some, well, I mean, that, that's high some high, and you know, like high that. time escorts yeah. have different fantasies for different clients. Some just want time. Yeah, and they do. But at the same time, like what you're saying is, okay, well, I won't talk to this person if they don't make this amount. But, boom, if I say, okay, I'm not going to talk to nobody that don't make 80K a year. So let's talk about preference. See, but then that's the, that, that, that then becomes their foundation. Can you? Their yes, foundation is, I won't do this if. And, and, but no, what I'm saying is, yeah. I built that foundation mm-hmm. of what I went through, the mm-hmm. hurt the pain, all the stuff I went through dealing with this, and that's where I got on my horse like, no, you can't speak to me. But this like a full time. Just damn running no tripping that just down a fifth of crown, still ten toes down. Throwing sex, giving death, giving pain. Pulling liquor for my niggas underground. It's a holiday, every day, payday. to the face.